Hi folks, it's Terry. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about an important book that I believe every gardener or even any homeowner who cares about the environment should read. The book is Bringing Nature Home by Dr. Doug Tallamy of the University of Delaware. And no, I am not sponsored by the author or the publisher. The author is an entomologist, and of course, entomology is the study of insects. And after reading this book, you will realize the important link between insects, plants, and other wildlife. There is unbreakable link between native plants and native wildlife. Native insects cannot or will not eat alien plants. When native plants disappear, the insects disappear impoverishing the food source for birds and other animals. In many parts of the world, habitat destruction has been so extensive that local wildlife is in crisis and may be headed towards extinction. There is a serious cost that comes up when we plant alien ornamentals in our gardens. Despite our efforts to only bring clean plants into the country, we continually introduce harmful diseases and insects that evolved on other continents. <clears throat> this is the copy that I read, which is a library book, but I'll have to get my own because this is a great reference book to have. Anyway, the basic premise of the book is that planting plants native to your area are not only good for the environment, but an important step we all need to take. So, I had a lot of fun taking an assessment of the trees and plants in my yard. These are lantana, which are grow in the front of my house, which are native to South Carolina here in the USA where I live and monarch butterflies love these they're always flitting around the lantana flowers I also have these four large longleaf pine trees in my backyard which are a habitat for woodpeckers I have this beautiful holly tree those trees are all native here to South Carolina I first thought for sure the crepe myrtles were going to be native to South Carolina because they are everywhere, but I found out they actually originated in Asia. The person that sold me the house uh, had planted these little bushes out front. The ones in the front are boxwoods. I um, haven't been able to identify the red and the green bush yet. If you know what it is, let me know. The boxwoods are not native to the U.S., but at least they're not invasive. I have two large poplar tulip trees out front, which hummingbirds love, both native to the area. There's also a small maple tree, also native to the eastern part of the U.S. I have three little bushes in the front, these three green ones. Uh, they are forsythia bushes which can become quite invasive as shown in these pictures. These ones are not mine, but you can see how out of control they can get. And they actually can prevent other helpful plants from growing. So it's probably not a good idea to plant forsythias in your yard. They can get out of control, but I plan to keep mine trimmed up and small. I was happy to hear that hydrangeas are native to North America. So keep growing those hydrangea bushes. And when you're out in a nursery picking flowers or any kind of plants actually, Whoa. make sure to pick ones that are native. Just do your research. And by the way, the chrysanthemums or mums, one of the best selling plants in the US are not native to this area. They're actually from Asia, I believe. Yes. So let me know what kind of plants you found in your yard. Are they native? And thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe.